What is going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Keisha Cole now. It's, it's been a minute since I've talked about Keisha Cole, right? But apparently Keisha Cole is dating a rapper by the name of Honcho. And the reason why this has become a topic and why she's going viral is because of the age difference, okay? Now, she's 42 and Honcho is 24. So you kind of like the numbers in reverse, right? And this has got people uh, talking. And also the photos or video clip of them together in the club has people sort of wondering what type of relationship is this? Because it looks like, you know, he doesn't really want to be seen with her and she looks very happy to be around him. Whenever you see that type of dynamic, it lets you know everything you need to know about their interactions. You know, Keisha Cole has had her fair share of relationships, especially with younger men. She dated a guy by the name of Nico Kale, who at the time was 23 and she was, I believe, what, 37? They have a child together. She had a child with Daniel Gibson, who was an NBA player, but he was more closer to her age. And for whatever reason, she's now seemingly is dating younger men. You know, when you look at Keisha and it's sort of like the downfall of her relationships, you could look at the Antonio Brown situation. I know her and Antonio Brown worked together. And Antonio Brown alluded to smashing and she never really denied it. I believe she even had a, what, a fake tattoo of his name or something like that. Uh, it just, it was very weird. And you saw how Antonio Brown treated her. Antonio Brown did not treat her very well because he had no respect for her. He had no respect for her. Maybe at first he did, but when he realized that she was just like every other older woman trying to hang on to her youth, I think he kind of took advantage of that and made fun of her. He clowned her publicly. And she really didn't have any rebuttal for it. <laughs> you know, she did make a fool of herself. And you look at her with this guy, Honcho. She's in this club with him. She's very happy to be around this guy, Honcho. And again, I want y'all to understand, I have nothing against two consenting adults having a relationship. Whether, you know, he's 24 and she's 42, it is what it is. I'm not here to be the moral police. I'm not here to, to be the moral police. I'm not here to tell people who they should be with. I'm just looking at her history and she has not done well relationship wise since Daniel Gibson. When she broke up with Daniel Gibson, she got with Nico, had a child with him, broke up with him. And uh, she kind of just spiraled a little bit. And now she is seemingly in this sort of low key relationship with this rapper Honcho. And uh, again, ladies, this is what happens when you have her and Drea, you know, two women, well, one is already in her early 40s and another one is close to her 40s. They're still trying to hang on to the, the girl that they were when they were in their 20s, when they had all these dudes trying to get at them, right? And that time has passed them by and they refuse to let it go. This is what drives them to get into relationships with younger men because they're still trying to prove that they got it. Now you look at Drea, she doesn't look like she could be 39. You look at Keisha Cole, does Keisha Cole look 42 years old? But they've been famous for so long, especially Keisha Cole. I remember Keisha Cole was in the early, mid 2000s. Maybe she is somebody that Honcho's always wanted to get with. That's the story with a lot of these older chicks in the industry. All these ex-video vixens, they end up with one of these young guys or, or these R&B singers. Look at the run that uh, K. Michelle went on. She was dating all these famous men, right? You know, and she, um, you know, was out there with her BBL. And, um, you know, now, you know, you don't really know what's going on with her personally. <laughs> you know, she's talking about how she wants a white man. Next thing you know, she's probably like, you just never know. You never know what keeps you going. But that's just the way of these industry women eventually they become lonely and they either become bitter or they're out there trying to prove they still got it. And that's what Keisha Cole is doing. Uh, she's trying to prove that she not only still got it, that she can go out here and get one of these younger guys. Now, I want to get into a list of men that Keisha Cole has been dating over the years, right? So let's get into this list of men that she's dated. I went into Antonio Brown. He's 35. He's like seven years younger than her. She has, she dated Nico, Nico Kale. You know, at the time he was 23. He's 28 now. She also apparently dated Birdman. Birdman is a little bit older and that relationship did not go well. It, it really didn't. Bow Wow, who's what, in his late thirties, she dated him. She was with Daniel Gibson for a while. You know, they had a child together. Apparently she dated Mano, who's 50. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Jr. 
Deshaun Stevenson, Jeezy, The Game, Chink Santana. I mean, she dated her fair share of famous men, and uh, those relationships did not work out. And um, it's probably because of the fact that Keisha Cole is probably very difficult to deal with. According to Bow Wow, she trashed his car. I can only imagine why these relationships don't work out. I just think that Keisha Cole is somebody that has searched for love her entire life. If you look at her upbringing, you look at what she's been through, growing up, how she grew up, you probably understand why she can't make connections. And she still wants to be that same girl she was in the early to mid 2000s. But musically, she's not, even though she has her fans, right? But she's not on the radar of a lot of men out here who she wants to be on the radar to. A lot of these famous guys have moved on. And she's dated a lot of famous men too. And a lot of times with Keisha Cole, she searches for love in the wrong places. And I think that she still wants control. I think that when you see an older woman with a younger man, a lot of times it's about control, especially when she's more successful than him. It's about control. When she dated Nico, it was about control. Yes, yeah, she's dated men close to her age, but Bow Wow was still younger than her. Daniel Gibson still younger than her. Birdman was, was older, but I think that she likes being in a situation that she can control. This is why she's with Honcho, because he's a young man who, I don't know if Honcho's as, as famous as she was at one point, Um, so maybe she sees an opportunity to have a celebrity relationship. These women are obsessed with celebrity relationships. And you know, you got Honcho looking awkward in the club with her. This is just a recipe for disaster. Now, again, I'm not here to play the moral police, but I look at all these men that she's dated in the industry and you look at her upbringing and you can tell that she's never known what love is. Only from her adoptive parents who took her out of a very horrible situation. But overall, when you look at where she is, it's sad because, you know, I was a, I was a fan of Keisha. Keisha, I think she's a talented singer. She's not ugly at all. She's rough around the edges. But I think that's her personality due to her upbringing and her family dynamic. We all saw it on reality TV with her mother, her biological mother. And I just think that she's she seems like the type of female that searches for love for men, especially men who are famous, you know. And unfortunately, like I said, she's 42. She has children. Are you going to you know, continue this trend of dating these younger guys that, you know, relationships won't work? I mean, you look at those photos in the video it's like honcho don't even want to be seen with her that's how sad it is but that's the reality of western women these women age you got women who will age gracefully and you got the women who won't because they always thought that they were always going to be attractive they always told themselves that they'll always have options that they'll never run out of options no matter how old they get and you got to understand that's not the case especially when you've dated as many men in the industry as she has and those men talk, which is why she has to go after these younger artists because with them, she doesn't have as much baggage, right? These older rappers that she dealt with ain't going to be talking to these young guys. And these and, and she's a notch on these young guys' belt, man. That's what she is. A lot of these industry women who are over the age of 40 who's trying to date these younger guys, you're just a notch on their belt. That goes for any of them. But also, I think these women lie to themselves and they say, you know what, I'm going to be attractive forever. I'm always going to. They believe that. They believe as long as they can thirst trap and as long as they have good genetics, that they will still be able to get men when they're in their 40s, 50s, even 60s. Not everybody's Angela Bassett, but Angela Bassett is a married woman. She's not in these streets. A lot of y'all are in these streets because of how damaged you are and how you've never sought help and how you've never tried to fix yourself, you look for men to fix you. And that's the problem with a lot of people today, men and women, they look for relationships to fix them, money to fix them, validation from others. But you have to take those steps to fix yourself. You are responsible for your mental health. You are responsible for making sure you are emotionally available. Cause a lot of y'all ain't, ain't ready. You wanna get into relations, but you aren't emotionally available. Why? Cause you wanna have relations on the regular. So you hop into relationships when you're not mentally ready for it, spiritually ready for it. That's the problem. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram, subscribe to all the Rumble channels. I'll see y'all next one.